What? What is this DIY? We just made what's probably the coolest DIY that we have ever made. So cool the cops are after it. probably uh, the coolest DIY ever. It's definitely my favorite or one of my top favorites for sure. I'm sure you can already tell. It's a marquee arrow which you might recognize um, this is kind of resemblant of restaurants and old movie theaters. Yeah, old Hollywood I think of having those big light up signs. So I'm sure you've seen these done maybe in letter form or maybe in arrow form too but <laughs> this is how you make a relatively cheap and super easy an amazing looking marquee arrow. So we're going to start with a standard piece of foam core and you can make this as big as you want but we chose the standard bristle board size. Mm -hmm. uh, then we took some craft paper to just kind of make a template. So you want this to be the same size as your foam core so that your template isn't bigger than your base. If you totally trust yourself you can draw right on the foam core but we wanted to make sure our arrow was perfect before we cut anything. Yes. So what we first did was kind of just fold it in half um, and then Using that half line, we kind of drew out an arrow, and then we looked at it and we picked which side looked the best, mm -hmm. and then we folded it again and used a ruler to make those lines perfectly straight, and cut it out. And now you have a template, which is even. Yes. So once you have your perfectly straight arrow template, you can tape it down to the foam core, and using an X-Acto knife on a cutting mat, you can go ahead and cut out your arrow. So you now have an arrow and you can just discard that template or save it for later or hang it on your If you want to make more than one because you totally do. You totally do. <laughs> your friends will want you to. So next we're going to make the side pieces for the arrow because we want it to look like it's kind of in a box, like a true side would be. So take some standard bristle board, which is thinner than our foam core, and lie your arrow on top of it and we're going to draw out the different lines and the sides of the arrow. So there ends up being eight sides. And we decided that we wanted the height of our sides to be four and a half inches. So that's going to be two inches um, above the arrow and then, or on the top of the arrow where the lights sit, and two and a half inches below the arrow to make the back where it would sit against the wall. Yes, and to hide all the cords and everything in the back. So once you've drawn out your eight sides and added the four and a half inches or whatever you think you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna cut out all those pieces. Yeah. So next we're gonna add the holes in our arrow where the lights will go through. So you're going to need to get a string of globe lights. We got these from Canadian Tire, but they also come from Target and a whole bunch of places which we will list below. So first we're going to figure out uh, where our holes are gonna go and the spacing. And we also wanna make sure we don't make too many holes for the amount of lights we have. So we have 25 lights, you need to make 25 or less holes. Yes. Um, so what we did was we kind of marked out the corners first because you pretty it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to put a light in the corners of the arrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so we marked those out first and then we filled in the gaps. So once you have all your dots approximated out on the arrow, then we're going to actually go and make the holes. So to do this, you're going to want to unscrew a light bulb from its little socket and you can place the socket on top of your arrow and kind of trace around it so we know exactly how big that hole needs to be. So you can trace that on all of the dots that you've made. And once that's done, take your X-Acto knife again and go ahead and cut out those holes. You're going to want to cut out just a little bit slightly inside that hole because when you trace it, it's going to make it bigger and we don't want the socket to pop through. Right, we want these to fit nice and snug in our arrow. <laughs> exactly. So once you have all of that cut out and everything good, then you can go ahead and spray paint all your pieces in whatever color you want. Obviously we chose like a vintage red color, which we think is really fun. But even doing another coat of white or a bright red, or mm -hmm. if your bedroom is pink, doing a pink. Or even like, I don't know, like a silver to make it look metal. Oh, that'd be gosh. really cool. That'd be awesome, yeah. Yeah, so anything you want, go ahead and spray paint all those front and back really well. Yep, and let them dry. <laughs> yes. So once you have each piece spray painted front and back, your side pieces and your big arrow piece, we're gonna start to put it all together. It's time to assemble. Time to assemble. <laughs> so since we decided that we wanted two inches for the front part of the arrow and two and a half inches for the back part of the arrow, we need to make a guideline so that when we're gluing our side piece on, it's nice and straight. So we're just gonna take a ruler and measure two inches down, make a little 
line, <laughs> and then do two inches on the other side, and then draw a ruler line. So you might not be able to see it, but we actually have a pencil line that is very fine, that won't be seen, mm -hmm. and we're going to glue the foam cord right to that line. Yeah, so once you have all those lines, then obviously go ahead and match up the different pieces to where they fit on the arrow and glue them down. So we just put a strip of glue actually onto the foam core and then stuck the side piece to it. Hold it there for a couple seconds and it should be good. Yeah. For the longer pieces, you're only going to want to do about five inch segments at a time because hot glue does dry really fast and you don't want to have the front part coming off while you're gluing the back part. So now it's on to the fun part. So what you're going to have to do is uh, unscrew all the bulbs from your string of lights, which is kind of a pain, but needs to be done. And then you can go ahead and line up the socket at the back of your arrow and then screw in the bulb at the front. Yes. You're also going to want to figure out how you want your arrow to sit on the wall just to make sure that the cord is coming out at the bottom and not like at the top middle. <laughs> so yeah. start where you want the cord to come out, start like one bulb beside that. Yes. And also, we had 25 bulbs, but we only had about 22, 22. holes, uh, which is perfectly fine, but depending on if your light strand works this way, we took out um, a bulb and we kind of just skipped one every so often. Let it just hang at the back without the bulb. Yeah. So it fits nice and snug and we would go a couple, like five, and then we'd miss one, mm -hmm. and then we'd go another one and miss one. So there's not like a whole string of empties hanging at the end. Yeah. And also make sure you do take out the bulbs of the ones that you're not using so it doesn't get really hot at the back of your sign. And now you have extra bulbs if they ever go out. It's true. So after, if at the back you find that your back is like a wiry mess, we were lucky that our string of lights have little hooks because they're meant to go on an umbrella on a patio. So you can kind of tuck any extra wires into the hooks. Or if you need to use like twist ties or zip ties or anything just to kind of neaten up those wires. That's a step you'll need to do so that fits flat on your wall. Right, you don't want any wires sticking past where the end of your cardboard goes. Exactly. And then we just use some 3M sticky hooks to stick it to the wall. Um, you can also put it on a bookshelf or a table, anything like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we use the 3M hooks and then also just hooked the wires on since our wires are kind of nice and snug in there. They worked as like a string to hang <laughs> it on. It's true. We hope you guys like this DIY as much as we did. We are actually beyond excited about it. So excited. We're yeah. like... Yeah. What should we make next with these globe lights? I know. We'll see. If we make something, we'll let you know. Yes, but we definitely will. So we also kind of vlogged some behind the scenes stuff while we're making this because we made it on St. Patrick's Day and we had to go out and buy all the supplies. So if you want to see some behind the scenes vlog footage, then we link that at the end. We will. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye!